that is right in your way. People want to see your face, not that. Hey, Freddie. Oh, good, good, good morning. Hello, replayers. So nice to see you. It was Sam to the rescue this morning. Sam to the rescue. I, I haven't done this before. <laughs> it's so funny. I'd set up and I was checking the sound. This was about half an hour ago. And I must have hit the wrong button. And I, I, yes, I was live and I couldn't delete. Oh, anyway, this is a new stream and I can see that I've got sound and people will find me in a minute. And Mrs. Gigi, um, welcome, welcome. Mrs. Gigi, I see that you're putting on an amazingly brave and positive spin I know that you've been you've been lovely you've been hard at work with your lovely family do hoping that wishing you lots of health for the new year mm. sending love from the UK to Sweden and when all this is over I'm sure you'll be coming over It'd be lovely. I, there's always a warm welcome for you here. And Abigail, so nice to see you. Oh, so nice with the time zones. We don't often get a chance to see each other. And of course, a lot of the time you're, you're really um, busy, busy, aren't you? So nice to see you. Look at all those lovely lovely hearts from Mrs. Gigi. I'm going to start sewing as people, people come in. Kimberly, hi, were you there for the, for the, that little stream when I was trying to set everything up? Oh, what am I like? It's like I've never done this before. <laughs> Welcome, you lovely replayers as well, and people that are already gently listening in the background. Had my sewing machine out, didn't I, on New Year's Day? And oh, so relaxing. I, I just thought, and I showed you my scrappy patch jacket, and I thought, oh, I'm just gonna do some more of that on Monday <laughs> but Kimberly rest assured we're having a terrible storm I thought it oh really things are your storms are really quite dramatic you stay safe Kimberly and always be scared when it's a, a storm there's lovely Vanessa oh how's your hand Vanessa dear I do oh look I haven't plugged the machine in <laughs> That's going to help, isn't it? It's it is an electric one, not a hand one. There we are. That's it. So Kimberly, you stay safe and rest assured, it's not like the New Year's Day stream. We are going to run to our normal glorious routine, Kimberly, with a snack halfway through. <laughs> I had such a houseful on um, Bank Holiday Monday. I, I had thought they might bring me a snack in at snack time, but alas, no. Normal service will be resumed today. Abigail, it's so nice to see you. Sending you love. Now, if I'm not mistaken, you're from Canada, aren't you? You're when I go live, you're probably... You're probably working, aren't you? Now, I'd like to say, when I first started doing this scrappy patch jacket, that I had a plan. But um, I didn't. And I had it all together, but now I've taken it apart. I'm just working on a sleeve. It's an old fleecy. We call these fleecy. I do call them minky. Fleecy jacket. Uh, but yes, I didn't have a plan. But I, so I've taken it to bits. I've done the front. I've done one sleeve completely. 
Here it is. My inspiration comes from dear Lizzie Brewer and Carmen Balco, if you see her on Facebook. And I can share some pictures in on social media with you if you don't if you're not on Facebook. Oh, so nice to see you. There's Janice. Ah, oh, and good morning to you, Janice. Public holiday, I take it for you as well, Janice. Not going to work today, so we'll relax. We you you say fleece as well. Fleeces, they're really lovely and warm, aren't they? But you'll be pleased to know, Janice. I'm learning as I go. I've taken it apart now. Sylvia, good afternoon. All the way over there in France. And lovely. There we are. Hi, Janet. Um, Freddie, you're late because you had to find your ducky slippers and go and get your pyjamas. Yes, because it, Barbara and I decided last week. Mm, they love it. Janice, don't they love sewing scrappy things and it's so colorful so colorful in the background isn't it <laughs> you're having a snow day does that mean you have to work from home janice though newspapers don't write themselves do they you still have to keep going even if it's a bank holiday so barbara and i decided that we would get this stream we were going to be cozy so kimberly if, if you want to run and get your pyjamas on, we're having a pyjama stream. And Barbara's not only got her PJs on, she's got her fluffy duck slippers on. And if Freddie was there, like your little fur nephew, I expect Freddie would be thinking they were a toy, wouldn't he? Oh, yes, I've got my pyjamas on. There's candy. It, there's no excuse because it's two o'clock in the afternoon. But in my defence, I have been out for a walk. Oh, I had a shower, washed my hair, obviously, and um, been out, for, been dressed, had my dress and my tights on and my Wellington boots, and we've been sloshing around in the mud, so muddy. <laughs> oh, and changed into my pyjamas just for today's stream, when Teresa, little sister Teresa come, comes in, let's all say happy birthday to her. She might be having a lion. Yes, a cosy day. Let's have a cosy jama day together. So instead of watching a movie, let's just spend time with one another. Mm. You're working from home, sort of really not much of anything just checking your emails oh lovely i don't want anything to be interfering with your craft time because what well, you've been really getting into the zone of being able to be off work in and it's a rare thing for you to have days off isn't it i do hope that you get chance to have some time to yourself to do your craft in Jan's dear. So let me show you I'm my back pajamas. It says, let's stay in. And because my friend the other day, um, we were, oh look, some of the bits are falling on the floor. Um, she said, what have you got written on your jumper? Because I think we were having like a quick FaceTime. And um, I said, oh, I think it's let it snow. And then I looked and I said, oh, no, it says, let's stay in. And I thought the irony of that is not lost on me because I bought these pyjamas way before we ever heard the, the word lockdown. <laughs> let's stay in. <laughs> but anyway, let's stay in today and have a nice, cosy pyjama day. Although having said that, do your own thing chicken wings because some um, you don't have to wear your pajamas you wear just what you want and i've got my kimberly socks on today look at that oh, don't they look cozy 
I'm, I'm rocking the look. I've got the pink and white and then the red and black. Rocking that look. <laughs> Hi, Clint. Nice to see you. We're having a pajama day today. <laughs> In honour, it's Monday. I know. It's Monday. It's our time to be together. I love it. I love it. Or it might be, for some people, another day and we're still together. I know I love, I've been watching a lot of replays because I had my nephew here, lively Cooper. <laughs> so it's been quite busy. <laughs> I love them. Thank you. They're nice and soft. Mm. You're so jealous of this matching outfit, I'm sure. <laughs> but you've got those lovely ducky slippers, so... <laughs> oh look at that you got so you're you're doing that in fahrenheit oh celsius you, you're changing it um for me oh no that's celsius i think we do fahrenheit here mm. oh oh netty netty had a birthday on saturday did we miss that netting? Can you see what I'm doing? I love this because it's a way to get to know my machine. And it's literally, as our Beth would say, no right or wrong. And let me show you. Just, it, they look a bit loose, but you just keep doing many, many layers of stitches. It, it's good, it's raw edged and it becomes quite quilted. Can you see the bee fabric? Can you guess who gave me that? <laughs> lovely, lovely young um, Beth. Oh, Sue, Sue messaged me and said, are you going live today? And I was, I couldn't message you back at the time. Soon, because I was just having a little mini streaming crisis. I went live in it to test it, and it all got messed up. But it was wonderful sound to the rescue. Becky, nice to see you, Becky. Oh, so hi there. So I didn't finish saying hi to lovely Sue. You made it. Yes, yes. Ah. <laughs> so nice so nice to see you let me just go back it up in chat who was i saying good hello i interrupted myself i think i was saying hello t2 netty dear did you have a lovely time managed to see the grandchildren the beauty of this Breakfast is ready for Vanessa. No worries, you were cleaning. So that's why I asked. Oh, oh thank you. Thank you, Sue. I saw it because I, I was fiddling around with it without asking Sam. And he came down and did it straight away. <laughs> oh, can you see I've been out in the sun, my, in, in the sun, in the cold, my, my, it's not that cold actually compared to everywhere else. We're in plus numbers here. It's ridiculous and there's no wind chill either. <laughs> I'm just patching these on. I was saying hello to to lovely Becky W, Becky Waters. Oh, I, I imagine the family are still around. Let me guess, you're with, with me for a little while until they wake up, is that right? <laughs> oh, oh, there's Candy, Candy dear. Mm. How are you healing up? Are you snuggling up to those gorgeous kitties? Oh. Been thinking about you a lot, Candy. I haven't been in the on Facebooks and in the Facebook groups very much because we the family have been around. But I love I love the way that this stream is part of my family life. 
the, when I said, oh, I'm streaming on New Year's Day, the boys are, all right, and they're popping in and out. It's not blown. Nettie had a wonderful time. Candy saying, what's for breakfast, Vanessa? <laughs> I had today treat, I'm still on Christmas treat time. I had cut white bread with marm toast, with marmalade, because normally I'd have something much more healthy, like a porridge. <laughs> These materials come from people from all over the world. Our lovely Laura Sullivan gave me this one. Very lovely. Oh, there you go. With little delicate yellow flowers on. Absolutely love it. Mm. You, oh, Barbara says she likes her. Well, don't we all? It's not going to happen, is it, Barbara? You like your breakfast served in bed. I like a boiled egg with... I quite often take my breakfast back to bed, though. <laughs> I like a boiled egg with... A dippy boiled egg with soldiers. <laughs> You're having tea. You're still on quite um, bland, low rations for the while while you're here like you can do. Hmm. Oh. oh, that's so nice. I just saw a message coming up and saying hi to Alicia. And I've got some lovely happy mail arrived from Alicia and I'll be showing you that later. So you could make a cushion with your scraps if you didn't want to do an item of clothes. I just thought... I'm, I would like to start this year making more clothes, upcycling more clothes. I want to try and, yes, that's what I'd like to do over the next year. And I watched lovely Mrs. Gigi's video earlier, and, and I haven't commented on it because suddenly Sam said to me about 20 past one, he said to me, have you started setting up your stream yet, Mum? knowing that sometimes I lose track of time. I just started to make some curried parsnip soup for our meal tonight, together with bread and cheese. And um, I, I thought, oh, do you know, I haven't, Sam. <laughs> so I came in to set up the stream. So, oh, yes, Mrs. Gigi's making... She's got a video up. I'll put a link in the description box. And what's your journal called? It's called Big 2022. <laughs> oh, Kimberly said she enjoyed seeing the boys. Oh, they're so lovely. I love it. I love it. Freddie is exhausted. We all, oh, there are about four or five of us met up and had a lovely a lovely walk with Freddie. Some more bee fabric from Beth. So there's no right or wrong. And you could patch over anything, a skirt. I don't know what it's going to look like. We'll just see. Mm. Oh, what did Vanessa say? Yeah, Barbara said, oh, yeah, Vanessa. Oh, yes. Oh, Vanessa says, oh, you are funny. Vanessa's so good. She said she'll have breakfast in bed with a side of crafting supplies. Oh, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant idea. It is a public holiday. So, yes, breakfast in bed. I recommend that. <laughs> oh, dear, you are funny. Thank you, Janice. Oh, linking Mrs. Gigi's video. Talking about video links, in the description below, I can't give this to you now because I don't, let me go on my history. Um, it's called, no, that's Big Journal. That's Mrs. Gigi. The 62 group connected cloth. 
Yes, the 62 group connected cloth. Now this, that's not the channel, that's the name of the video. I will leave a link below. Barbara sent me this video. Oh, Barbara, how, how inspiring. It's a group of mainly British, but there were some, one person from another country, can't quite remember, and they're textile artists. So inspiring. I will put the link um, in the description box below. I'll try and do that soon after the video finishes, but um, just visit my video description box and, oh, it's, it's just an absolutely amazing. And they, I think you'll love it too, Janice. I think you will love this because it's lots of history and knowledge about textiles and how we're all connected from, from the fabrics because the fabrics and the history of fabric, absolutely, absolutely fascinating. Heather, oh, how are you, Heather, dear? Because I know that running up to Christmas week, you went very well, which is hard when you've got young children, isn't it? Because you just, you just want to, well, you've got so much to do, really. Oh, I don't know whether the rest of the family were ill at the same time. How are you, Vanessa, dear? Um, Heather, dear? Hmm. And there is Trish. Trish coming in. Good morning. Good morning, your crafty family. We are. We are. Happy Monday, Trish. It's so nice to see you. So nice to be here. We've got, I've got lots of things to share with you. And if you've got things to share with me, pop them in the chat or message me. Oh, this video was amazing. <laughs> oh, Barbara. <laughs> Thank you, Dean. There we are. This, do you know, this is so relaxing. I've been, I just sat here as well yesterday evening because I'm changing my mind on that one because that's quite a similar colour and I want to make this a different colour. Let me just turn the light off. Mm, ah, there you go. You might on that, you might be able to see more of what I'm doing. I well, I could have the camera there, but of course you want that. Janice, thank you so much. Please, if you if there's any video that you get a chance to watch, please watch this because it's so inspiring. It's so humbling as well, these artists, what they do with the cloth. But I, it inspired me because in my little way, I want to work more with fabrics, to continue to work more with fabrics. It wasn't something to aspire to, really. It was just... And it's so well edited as well. Absolutely brilliant. There's Brenda D. Mwah. Hi. Come on in, Brenda. We saved a seat for you. <laughs> Come on in. Oh, and there's lovely. Oh, Carol. Oh, talk about humbling. If you haven't seen in my description box on my New Year's Day live and in Brazil, there is a list of streamers if you haven't had a chance to catch up because it's, it's been a busy time, I know. But do catch up on Carol's video. Oh, Carol. Carol shared her presence and she also shared, not presence as in, gifts i mean her aura her, her herself her soul she shared that with us and her beautiful beautiful fabric journal and all her gorgeous ideas 
very relaxing to watch you painting the lace. It's all, this isn't very, I'm not doing very much here, but I feel that it's quite relaxing just for you to see me choosing the fabrics and listening to the machine. Hmm. Oh, Candy said it was fun. It was a fun stream. The whole hop. Thank you, our dear Mary, Mary, who must be exhausted. Oh, Abigail's been doing catch up on replays. Yes. So, so, so many different types of arts and crafts and wonderful. And, oh, it's too, you don't, you don't really want to mention individuals because you don't want to leave anybody out. Oh, there's Alison. Oh, Alison from AJ's Inspired Life. Alison, are you on another snow day? I will leave the link for Alison's channel down below um, as well. Oh, such a hoot. You were doing the um, prompts the other day and I listened to that. So wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. So, um, Alison had a snow day, didn't you? Couldn't even the gym was closed down one of the days, wasn't it? Mm. Yeah, thank you, Barbara. Does you do seem to find amazing videos? Yeah, well done. No pressure, though. No pressure. Oh, Chris. It takes me a while to think of your name, uh, to not your name, but names come in my head and then I don't see. Oh, Alison, the snow's melted and you're back to the office now. Chris, welcome. Come on in. I apologise for not saying hi to you earlier. I am so sorry. You were up there in the chat. And I must have been chatting and didn't say hi to you. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> and Dixie. Hi, Dixie. So nice to see you. Oh, come on in. I saw Dixie at the hop on all the ch chatting and chat. A lot of them, I had hop videos. I had while the family were here in the background. So I've been catching up as well because I want to take note I wanted to take note of lovely Devon and her talent with the with the jelly plate mm. that's it your Janice is saying good morning to Chris thank you <laughs> and you you flipped up the top <laughs> Alison saying, oh, she had a week at home without a no gym. Oh. And you had the family there, didn't you? And one thing that you said when that you treasure, I think you said it was treasure. I can't think what word you use, but how lovely it is to hear when your family, you've got a younger family, when they were young adults, aren't they? When they were having a wonderful time in the background precious times Alison aren't they to see to listen to them having fun mm. there we are. so oh yes now there's something in the background I'm presuming the mic is picking it up has anybody noticed something different in the sound of the room. It might drive us mad, we'll see. Let's see if you can hear that. Probably it's hard because I'm chatting. Tick tock, yes, the clock ticking. It picks it up, had you heard it before? Oh, that's it, you're welcoming Chris in. Sounds like your grandfather clock. A grandfather clock was to call for the shelf, so it. <laughs> oh dear. 
my grandparents did have a huge grandfather clock growing up. My mum and dad's house is full of clocks. I have given them to various people. A Yorkshire farm clock that strikes every quarter hour has gone to somebody that's going to take it back to their cottage in Yorkshire. So it's going back home. But the one clock that Ben said he wanted to bring back for me to bring back was the cuckoo clock because he remembers the cuckoo clock from going to Granny and Grandpa's house. My dad would always wind it round so it cuckooed a lot. Ah, oh, good, Chris. And anybody else that please write in again if I because that's just one thing I don't want to do. I'd rather not do the craft than miss anybody. Angela, how are you? Nice to see you. Oh, welcome, welcome. So nice. You are, oh, you've made really good time. Come and sit down. There's a lovely, a lovely warm welcome here for you. <laughs> oh, dear. It's, it, yes. The grandfather clocks stood 90 years on the floor. La 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 do 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 And it stuck hmm, never to strike again. La 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 la. <laughs> I remember that one. It, the cuckoo clock, Nettie, yes, came from the Black Forest in Germany when my parents visited there. Oh, well, it's vintage now, this little clock. Can you, oh, it's just over there. You can see the pendulum. Hold on. It's just here. Hold on. Let's see if I can move the camera. Trouble is with my, oh, I'll do it at the end. I'll do it at the end. Remind me, if you've just come in, we're having a pajama day today. So we're all cozy. <laughs> Dear. You have your mum's cuckoo clock from Germany. Oh, that's what you're saying. Oh, how lovely. Oh, she visited there from the States. Not so far for my parents to visit, was it? Uh, having said that, I've never been there before. Yeah. You heard that song once before. Usually you don't know. That's a really old song, isn't it? Gosh. I, I, I would imagine, I would imagine Barbara is typing away now and sending me a link. And the link to that song will be in, in the description. Heather's in her pyjamas. Perfect. Perfect. Well, when you have friends around, you're just, you're just, that, that little bit there is just not quite long enough. So I'm just going to find a bit that's longer than that. Let me, there we are. Pop that there. That's going to be slightly too long. Let me get my scissors because I'm just filling in this little gap here. If you've just come in, I'm making a scrappy patch jacket. There we are. Ooh, my, my little niece Katie Cat will be coming for a craft retreat and recharge her nursing back batteries at the end of January. Becky's in her pajamas too. All the best people are. <laughs> oh, you have an Angela. Um, are you in Beck's group? Because if you are, we can just do a FaceTime. I have a little leaf, I have a leaflet, and I can show you the copies of it. Oh, yes. Shall we look? 
I'll turn it round and we'll do that now, Angela. Because I am I am a I am new at all this. Right, okay. So there we are. That's what I've done today while I'm while we're chatting. But I'll be going up and around. I go over them quite a few times. Mm. Ooh, the snow is about two, two and a half inches. Gosh, and it's still going gangbusters. Gang, gangbusters, that's an amazing sound. So, um, that's an amazing phrase. Right, okay. Um, but do let me know, Angela, and um, I will find the booklet. I won't try and look now, because I think it's in this drawer behind there. It's somewhere, it's somewhere safe in this room. Well, hold on, Angela. I think I had a, a box that it came with. Did I actually put it in the box? Um, no, I can't see that for the minute. It will be somewhere. Let's turn around. I'll turn it around and this is, there we are. This is good practice for me to have the confidence to do this live because it's only doing this scrappy patch jacket that has helped me to become familiar with the machine because you're using it so much and have to keep. Did you hear the cuckoo? <laughs> oh, Kimberly, we'll know when it's snack time because the clock will tell us. Next time the clock strikes, it's probably not, it might not be striking the right time, but um, it's an hour out. Right, okay, so let's, let's try this. You did, Angela, hurt the cooking. Right, now I'm going to put my glasses on to do this, so. <laughs> There we are. So you get you get the thread like that, and you put it over here, over this little bed, and then round here, round round there, and then you've got this little bit here. This little oh, this hook here. It goes under there, and then it goes through this bit and then it's got a little hook at the side you hook it in there hook it through the little hook I couldn't do this before I've done the scrappy patch jacket I can't hook it through that little hook like that do you thread it in am I at a different angle but don't worry. Oh, maybe I thread it down. I didn't think I did. But maybe I do. It's different doing things live. And then you've got this little hook here at the top. Hook that in there. And then you go in from the left and thread the needle. Which is easier said than done, Angela. I wonder whether one can get a big needle. There we are. And you put it under there. Is that clear as mud now? Anne, good morning, Anne. Hi. Oh, you sent, you didn't like your machine. You sent it back. Mm, I don't blame you. You didn't want to keep it. It just didn't feel right for you. Angela, we will chat on, on Facebook. But you've got one and then round. Oh, and then under here. So one, round, two, and then under there, three, and then up here for four, and then there, five, and then this little hooky bit, six, and then through the needle. So seven bits to do. Mm. You screenshot everything. Oh, I'd have never thought of doing that. You're, you're amazing, Angela should just slide in from the front to the small side hook. My old one did 
Janice, it usually does. I must be at a different angle. It, yeah, it usually does, Janice. You're right. So if you try and hook it around, it slides in. But if not, thread it through. Yes, yes. Hmm. Your one's in storage, in its case, yes. You took a photo of how my machine looked with the threading, so you would know. Oh, yes, you took a bit, yeah. Well, I have the little leaflet, and I will be sharing that with, um, all that with uh, Angela. And if you, yeah, if we could even send you photocopies of it. Yes. Just give me a chance to find it this evening. So I'm going to put the machine away for now. Faithful little thing, isn't it? It's lovely to be surrounded by the cuckoo clock that's 40 years old and this machine that's over 1950s, 60s, 60 years old, maybe. Ah. You, your husband just informed me the other day that the sewing machine that he had before we got married inside the sewing table actually works. You've been married four years and he just told you now. What? You've got a sewing machine in the table. That's amazing. What make is it, Heather? How old is it? Wow, what's the history of it? Tell us more. Tell us more. <laughs> oh lovely I'm going to put that down there oh lovely what else am I going to do with you guys oh lovely and you know I'm taking it gently I'm taking it slowly <laughs> ah there we are is it too light saturated do I need to turn one of the lights off Right, so let's get, I'm going to do some, these are my painty paper envelopes that I've made into a painty paper flow journal. And we're going to do some stamping on them today. There's Gail. Ah, oh, you were over on the other stream and then your daughter called. Glad to see you were able to stream today. Hi. Oh, hi, Gail. Oh, I messed all my stream up earlier, but I got here on time on this new one. Nice to see you, Gail. Oh, I emailed you, Gail, for your address because at the hop, we did a little experiment. I'm going to try and send you one of the trifold letters with just the sticker on, like I used to in the 70s. I remember having them for Christmas. I'm going to see if they go through the post all the way to the States. <laughs> you have no idea. And you haven't opened it to look. You have too much stuff on top of it. It's probably not the right time for you to do it. You're not well. You'll do it when you feel ready. You do it when you feel ready, Heather. No, no stress. And that even might be in a few years' time. Because the title that I put on my the on my New Year's stream was in night I was I entitled it Gentle Gentle Journaling, didn't I? And be kind to yourself in 2022. And that means not having too high expectations of ourselves, and especially in our craft, remembering that we want it to be just something we do for our souls, for our for our mental health and our well-being. Mm. You hope Melissa finds us. Oh, yes, Melissa's. Do you think people are, do you think, is that other stream still there? It, I don't think it's live anymore because um, Sam Counts deleted it for me kindly because I messed up. Somebody mind messaging dear Melissa um, for me. That would be really kind. I'm literally, so what we've done, we've scraped paint, just 
using the envelopes up. We've scraped paint, we've done some stenciling, and now I'm doing some stamping. And next week I'm going to do some doodling. So I'm making, these might become, I was making them as painted papers. They might turn back into envelopes, ready to go off again. There we are. This one, look, this one I just carved. This is thanks to Mary, this very basic. And I did one on the other side. That didn't turn out so well. Don't be discouraged when you, uh, when you're learning things because the flower turned out beautifully, but it's very hard to know what to take out and leave behind the flower is lovely but this one this pattern let's have a look it, i might like it now thanks kimberly heather yes you, you've done a little bit of slow stitching i think heather it's just really nice to do something that you find relaxing because you're really you're a busy young mum aren't you and we've all got our own stresses and issues and we, we just need to see that's not so good as the flower it would it adds texture but I think the flower comes out I'm pleased with the flower so you can use both sides of this so you only learn by you learn by doing things don't you so I've done that one Let's pull out another one. Oh, I loved this pink one. The reason I'm doing it in the brown is so it's great for backgrounds because it's the stays on ink. I just have one stays on ink and then I have my little colours in a block as well. But this the stays on ink is good because it doesn't move. Thank you, Gail. That's really nice kind of you. Thank you, Kimberly. <laughs> yeah, so it was lovely Mary who encouraged me to have a go at trying to do stamping. Let's have a look at some of the others. Um, let me see. Oh, that's it. Oh, this is interesting. Really interesting. So I did a feather. And I was really pleased with that one. And then I did a robin. And... I got muddled up about which bits to take out, which bits to leave. Let me show you. And so that was a that was a learning curve. <laughs> Sue, so nice to see you. Really nice to see you. It's ready. Oh, you can't see his nose now. I've covered it up. Sorry. <laughs> I do apologise. So nice to see you, Suze. Come on in. Mm. Oh, well, Heather, when the... See, oh, gosh, that didn't even... Yeah, when the time's right, you will have time to learn. And seriously, I, I did the... I made the little bag on, on Aunt Beck's string. And then I've been fiddling with clusters and uh, doing these little scrappy bits that I adore. And then doing the scrappy jackets really helped me to get to know my machine. So nice to see you. So let's have a look. Didn't even see, look, the, it, the robin does, it's good for like a background noise, but didn't work. But the feather, so just brush the dust. If something doesn't work, brush the dust off your feet and try again. Let's see, I need a blanker sheet. I think it'll go well on this colour. Let's have a look. Let me show you the feather. 
So, yeah, I mean, Mary, Mary has been, I'm always amazed at the detail because Mary does them on small little rubbers, doesn't she? You know, erasers, you call them, don't you? There you go. There, let's see if I've got enough stamping on there. Mm. We are all friends, aren't we? So it's so lovely. Hi, Kristen. Yes, I mean, it's lovely to make your own, isn't it? I got, um, when Mary was doing it, I got this very simple carving set. It wasn't expensive. It, I would say it would be this make. What is this make? Put my glasses on, Kristen. Um, it's called E-S-S-D-E-E, -E -E, S-D. But it, you might have a different make depending on what country you come from, and it comes with different blades. And I think Maljoy gave me, shared some of this with me. I haven't, yeah, I've only got small sheets, or Mary uses the erasers. Ah, oh, there we are. And I was really pleased how the feather came out. I think the pad needs to be re-inked but yes oh hi Roy so nice to see you oh Roy's saying group hello yeah and it's just so it's actually quite good for me to Meljoy carve stacks as well we'll have to get her to come and show us some of hers and then I don't want to waste any of the ink. There we are, I've pressed better there. So I was pleased with that one. But so, yes, Kristen, just have a go. And you think, ah, oh, taking the wrong bits away. They're usually double-sided, so you don't feel you're wasting them too much. And I love keys. So some things are best easier than others to know what to take away. So I drew the key and then you just have to take the background and then there's little holes out. Love keys. Mm. All the different names of the machines. Mm. Did you have a peaceful Christmas, Roy? Did you get to do... What are you working on? Quilting? I know you were doing crochet, crochet trees. Oh, now PM Artist Studio. Welcome. Is this your first time in the chat? Did we meet on the New Year's hop? Let me write you on, let me write this down because I do, I do like to make my stream notes to go over, don't I? I met with some lovely friends in the in the hop. PM Artist Studio, welcome. Welcome. If you would like to share your Christian name, do. But we're quite happy to call you PM. <laughs> if that's what you prefer. It's Mariah. What a beautiful name, Mariah. Welcome. And I'm presuming we met on New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. How lovely. Oh, really nice, really nice to see you. Happy New Year, Ruth. Oh, Ruth, tell me. And Renee, hi. So nice to see you, Renee. Oh. I would imagine Ruth is snuggled up. I think you'll be having a snow day. You're snuggled up. Are you in your room doing some quilting? Mm. You're finishing your January hop. Oh, gosh, I haven't thought or started it yet. Oh, wow. Well done. So much editing for you. Oh, it's you do so. Oh, I love your videos, Roy. Mm. Oh. Oh, that's oh! You went to PM Artist Studios stream, Mariah. Oh, how 
wonderful. Great. Oh, is anybody able to share? No pressure. I can share it in the link down below. Um, Mariah's channel. It's lovely to meet new friends. <laughs> There's Juanita. Good morning. Happy New Year to you and your family, Juanita. So nice to see you. And there's the key. So that's a very simple one to start start learning. Is that the key? Just draw draw the key and then take away the outside, those little bits that key in, and then the pattern inside. Yes, that's a nice easy one. Mm. Oh, that's so nice to see you. Chili, welcome, welcome. Good morning, good morning. Come on in, come on in. Didn't we have a lovely time at the hop, Chili? We're hopping around, it was lovely. There's Mariah's channel. That's really lovely. PM Artist Studio. Thank you. Thank you very much, Gail, because I realised it's going to be a relaxing day. and We haven't seen Teresa yet to say happy birthday, have we? There's the keys. <laughs> oh. And yes, I don't get to show you much of me doing these papers, but you're seeing how they're building up over the weeks. And next week, I will do some, I'll finish these up and then we'll do some doodling. And then we'll have some lovely painty papers to use. Or we might turn them back into envelopes. And putting them in here, making like a, make a little, little flow journal so they're quite handy. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's it. Yes, Mariah, we're very grateful um, to, to Gail T for sharing that link. Yes, we really are. <laughs> oh. So, yes, let's pop that away. So, Kimberly, is it time for snack time? Have you seen where Penny Angelica is? Isn't she gorgeous? She's a garden angel all the way from stormy North Carolina. I hope that um, Kimberly is still able to be here because she's been having storms. But she's looking after these gorgeous hyacinths that I'm... I would imagine they're going to open very quickly. They're going to have lovely perfume to them. <laughs> oh, there's Kimberly. I just was worried about you in the storms. Are you okay? A little beef must be scared. Isn't she gorgeous? She's gar she loves gardening. So she said that she would always like us to have, she'd like to be here, but she'd always like us to have some gardening. And wasn't it lovely the other day when the creator of... Flow came into chat. That was lovely, wasn't it? Mm. Oh, Christine's getting snow today. Mm. Gosh. And Christine had storms. Mm. She's in her English country garden. Right. Let me, I'm looking to wash my hands. Kimberly, run. Oh, you've got your snack already. I've got some things to show you while we're having snack time as well. You know I always do. There we are. Let's get that out. Things to show. Show and tell time. Let's pop these away. So I put my little homemade stamps in just this little, you know when you get gift bags and you think that's too nice. Too nice to something was in there. So oh, and when you like the bag or the box more, <laughs> save that. It's handy. Everything's in there when I want to carve another stamp. Mm. A snack time on our cozy day. If you just come in, we're we're having a pajama day today. Um, 
just because it's been Christmas week. But there's Freddy's snacks. Let's see, what have I got? This beautiful cup that my lovely neighbour gave me. Isn't it gorgeous? Royal Horticultural Society. It's got vegetables on it. Isn't it gorgeous? Absolutely gorgeous. And I may... Let, let's give Freddie his snack first. Let's get to the important things. Mm. Oh, Laura! Oh, you changed your channel name again. It's lo oh, lovely. It's great to do that. You're gently listening. Oh, oh Laura, here's my rainbow. Never far away. Oh, there's my rainbow there. Mmm. You chat in the chat or gently listen. Oh, whatever makes you feel, feel okay. <laughs> so lovely to know you're there, Laura. Mmm. <laughs> Vanessa's getting ready for filming. Don't worry, you don't have to chat because sometimes you just want to craft. You're gently listening in the background because you just want to get on and do your crafting too. There we are. Oh, lovely. He's having his little treat as well. These were a Christmas present. Mm. Oh, there we are. Oh, there we are. Yes, and welcome to all those other gentle listeners in, in the background. And you lovely wee players. <laughs> Listen out in a minute because I think the cuckoo is going to strike one o'clock. Or two o'clock, no, two o'clock, even though it's three o'clock. He's, look, he's over 40 years old. He's bound to get things wrong a little bit. <laughs> so, yes, so we do a couple of little bits of craft and then we just have a snack together because seriously, that's what you do when friends come round, isn't it? <laughs> oh, so lovely. There we are. Isn't he gorgeous, <laughs> Mariah? Our lovely Freddie. Now, the tea I've got today, look at this gorgeous tea. Mmm. Look, Barbara, it's from, it's called Maple Earl Grey Tea, all the way from Canada. My niece, Katie Cat, bought it for me. Isn't that lovely? Oh, you're doing chores. And you're in your pocket chatting, and I love it. Oh, that I do the same sort of thing. Oh, definitely. To have a familiar voice in the background, it is a comfort. I do the same with Lizzie and Beth, have them in my pocket. Definitely. Oh, well, we're happy to be there in your pocket. That's just where we want to be. Uh, you've got a, a, that book for Christmas from your mum. Oh, I missed what book that was. You're chatting to Anne. That's lovely. Mary Lou. Hi, so nice to see you, Mary Lou. Tell me about your latest crochet project. And I bet you had. I hope you got to visit your grandchildren over Christmas. You're referring to the book called S. I haven't even opened it yet. Oh, and Laura, lovely Laura Sullivan is saying hi to everybody. That's so lovely. You only have your phone. Oh, seriously. And then when Beth, I'm still there sometimes, it's late, but I get that I can't read the chat. My eyes get tired. Totally understand. It's so small on your phone. And most of the time, I, I only listen on the phone. Apart from the times when I say to people, "Got you on the big TV." <laughs> Sue Hennessy puts me on the big TV. Mm. Oh, that's such such lovely tea. Mm. Oh, it's lovely all the way from Canada. Isn't that lovely? Lovely Katie Cat, thank you, darling. So nice. Mm, that is delicious, actually. Really delicious. Get 
Some of you are in hot countries. Some of you, some of you lovely me players. I know that it's summer for you. You'll be asleep now. And then when you're watching this on replay, you'll be having a cool drink because it's summer for you. <laughs> and I made, there was, we, my meal plans revolve around what's left in the fridge or, or the pantry or the fruit and veg bowl. Mm. And I had some bananas left, so I made a banana, a banana bread loaf. So let's just have a slice of that. Plenty to go around, so let me get you a plate. <laughs> ah. Oh, yes, love to you. Oh, did you see that Becky had put a list of the colours up on her Facebook group for the temperature blanket? That's Aunt Bex. Um, if you need any help, message Aunt Bex, anybody who would like to be involved in making the temperature blanket absolutely beautiful let me explain that you put a color every day say it's hot it could be orange and then so it's going from orange reds yellows to blues when it gets colder that is absolutely fantastic mary lou and you do a couple of rows on it every day it's my lovely banana cake Isn't that gorgeous? And he's only an hour long. He's <laughs> lovely, isn't he? <laughs> Good morning, Kat. So nice to see you. Happy New Year to you as well. <laughs> mm. You come at the right time, just for just in time to have a, just a nice, gentle, gentle drink. Little cup of tea, friends. <laughs> I love that. I have a few. I'm going to taste the banana bread. Just a plain sponge with mm, banana in. Mm, mm, very nice. <laughs> mm, very nice. <laughs> it's Barbara. Bananas in pajamas. <laughs> You've just come in, we're having a pyjama day today. Oh, there's Rebecca. Rebecca's in her jams already. It's pre-shower time for Rebecca, isn't it? She'll be streaming later, though. <laughs> hmm. Right, what have I got to show you? Super tea. Thank you, Katie Cat. Mm. I just want to show you, I just took this brooch. You would call this a pin, I believe in America and I just took it off my coat and I thought well people might like to see that isn't that wonderful can you see it all the way from Russia and that would have been in the 90s so over 30 years ago my father-in-law bought me that beautiful boat it's, is it black painted and then lacquered over and it's wooden and I've worn it on my coat. Yes, let me, you were about to say it looks Russian. It does, yes, yes, oh, yes. Let me unhide that. Yes, it's amazing, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. So I have it on my coat and then I store it. This is just a, like a little journal. So that goes on my shelf. So they, they, it's just like a little mini Christmas journal I made once. Just, just got little bits of joy. Nothing that you'd want to show people, really. Just little bits of gluing in nonsense, really. Just something to just gently do. Mm. Isn't it a beautiful brooch? When when he bought it for me, I have a summer one somewhere, but I don't know where it is. But because I keep this on here, it just doesn't seem to get lost. You were right. <laughs> it is. 
Russians, isn't that beautiful? Oh, Melissa. Oh, hi. Thank you. Oh, Melissa, so nice to see you. I'm glad you found your way over here. I did this silly little thing earlier where I had to be saved by Ben because I I messed up a stream <laughs> by Sam. So that 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 goes on the shelf. And just to say, I didn't have a lot of time to make a Christmas journal this year, but lovely Maljoy. That's right. It's like your your big 2022 journal. Anything goes, just glue it in. Of course, we don't mind showing each other what we make because just we're among friends, but it's not... I'm not making things thinking, oh, I'll put that picture on um, Instagram or it, it's just it's just a little something you do just to relax. Mm. So Melanie just gave me this. She'd folded it for me, which made it look enticing. She'd folded some scrapbook pages for me and just said, oh, is it? No pressure, because she knew I was backwards and forwards to my mum and dad. She said, no pressure, I'll just use them if you want to. And, you know, I really love it. I love the fact that I've been able to make a Christmas journal. It's so, yes, just simply popping in cards that people gave me and little stickers that have brought me joy. And I've shown you in other streams everything. Mm. Time for you to take a shower. Ah, oh, you take care. Mm. Take care, Laura. Love you loads. <laughs> oh, so nice to see you. <laughs> Thanks, Barbara, dear. Look at this gorgeous card. I haven't shown you this. I realise I've shown you all the other bits. But look at this beautiful, beautiful. This is from Kat. Thank you, Kat. Look at the berries, how round they look. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I love that. And that's done with watercolour. Thank you, Kat. I absolutely love it. Absolutely beautiful. Got your little signature and date there, Kat, of 2021. That's amazing. Thank you. And I, I'm popping it in there. And one could do hand stitching, but I have the machine out and I just literally join these few pages together with the machine. And that makes makes my Christmas journal. And that's that's lovely. It was really nice just to be able to. They have just turning some something off that flicked on the screen. Just a secure, you know, when they, there's ABG security comes up. Barbara's saying it's an absolutely beautiful painting. And cats have to practice for many a year to be like that. And so maybe I'll, if you're feeling daunted by watercolours, we could get some watercolours out and just make some painty paper or something. Hmm. We're not minimalists, are we? No. Mm. We, we're we watching, I'm watching with the boys this series. I think I shared it with you about tiny houses. And we always laugh because Ben and I, not so much Sam, but Ben and I, we couldn't live in a tiny house. <laughs> we couldn't. So much craft supplies. I could have a tiny house for crafting, maybe. Just... Yeah, it's just simple, isn't it? And sometimes, you know, Maljoy just gave me these folded pages, said, no pressure, but if you want to use, make a little Christmas journal, do, no pressure. And that was, yeah. There's lovely Cheryl. Oh, Cheryl, get yourself a coffee. I'm just having a cup of tea. So I'm going to put these on the shelf for next year and the brooch I'll I'll know where it is and if I forget you can remind me 
I've got another shelf. We're not minimalists, are we, Roy? Oh, goodness. <laughs> I'll pop them there. I love them. They're just such a joy to look through sometimes, aren't they? There's Angie. Oh, Angie, how are you? Mm. It's some, um, Cheryl, dear, it's Teresa's birthday today. So if she comes in, she might be having breakfast in bed or something. We'll all sing happy birthday to her in unison. <laughs> so I had some, oh yes, look, I had some happy mail from lovely Alicia. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm Alicia's fairy godmother. <laughs> Isn't that lovely? Look at this. And she gave me a note and, and, in her note, where's her note? She says, I love her note. Look at this. Beautiful colours. Lovely paper, it crinkles. Um, hold on, let me see. She said, so lovely, so lovely. Love her writing, lovely pens, lovely and shimmery. Hold on. I'm sure somewhere she said on her note, isn't it gorgeous, this? How she made the envelope. She's put polyurethane on it, so it's very strong. This will make, if Shell comes in, um, a friend that I met at, on the hop, we will make a journal from an envelope, shall we? Another day. Let me know if you need help. Um, how lovely. And in here, Alicia says she opened her front door one day and these beautiful peacock feathers were left on the porch. I was so happy. Yeah, isn't that amazing? Alicia has been having storms but lives in a country where it's warm enough to go on the balcony and make beautiful fabrics. She's been getting dye from the dark food dye from the Dollar Tree and dyeing fabrics and paper. Look, even this tissue paper, before I even get, look at that. Isn't that, oh, isn't that gorgeous? Wow, Alicia. Thank you so much. That is going to go straight in my cat journal here. Wow. Thank you, Alicia. That will be make a beautiful background. Thank you. And let's look at these feathers. Oh, wow. She not only shared, you shared three of them with me. Alicia, dear. Isn't that, isn't that, now that is art, that's nature, that's why we love all these colours and shining, wow, it connects us with nature, I'm leaving that on the screen because that, wow, gorgeous, thank you Angie dear. Oh, you're so wonderful. Thank you, Angie. Mm, thank you. Yes. I think I must. Oh, yes. I didn't I haven't been on much on Facebook or Messenger. It came on Saturday. I was absolutely delighted. Excuse the ink on my thumb. I'm leaving that up for you to see. Absolutely beautiful. I know, Alicia, it's a small world. It's a small world after all. <laughs> and we're connected by our art and our doodlings and our craft, aren't we? It's so lovely. I, I love that. So are peacocks wild in your area? Do they come up and perch on your balcony, your colourful, colourful, art-filled balcony? Isn't that gorgeous? How lovely. So I'm, I'm going to give one of these straight away to flow. 
look how beautiful that is. Gosh, in the blue and how inspiring that is. But straight away, I'm going to say these need to go. I, I One is enough for me. Let's send some of these out. Do you want to pop a number in? And let's send some back across the ocean. So pop a number in. You have plenty of peacocks. You love peacock feathers. Oh, pop a number in now. Do a little draw and I'll pop one of these feathers in. You don't mind, do you, Alicia? We don't want to share the love. It goes around the world and then around the world again. I love that. Brilliant. And pop numbers in for other people too. There we are. I've got one here. Don't want to squash it. And I'll probably wrap it up again. I'm just doing this here. Look at that, how beautiful. That is lovely. Pop numbers in for people that aren't here or have been here. And yes, I'll probably use some of this a bit with your name on. You printed your name on your work. I'll put that in my journal, but the other bits I will pop in there. Pop in your numbers, please don't be shy. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Oh, six, yeah, for the birthday girl. Yes, yes, yes. So that's, I'll pop those there. Lovely. These Mo, don't forget Mo. Mo's a quiet worker. I think Flo gets quite a lot of the credit. She's quite mischievous because she's always using the, I know, I come in and the lids are off the pens and, but, you know, I forgive her. It's fine. But Mo just gently looks after all the happy mail needs and says, I'm holding this envelope. Don't forget to post it, Mum. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well done. Pop some numbers in. And yes, I will wrap the feathers. How much do I need? I need this much here for my journal. And then the feathers, isn't that wonderful? I'm gonna go back out into the world. Love that. I may, I think I'm going to let you hold one of those feathers for the minute. See how lovely that's going to be in that journal, Alicia, dear. And your note, there's your note here. This is going to be made into a cover and lovely shell who I met. We're going to do that together. Lovely. Pop that there. Right, numbers. I'll be finished with numbers and let's and then I'll show you something else that Alicia dyed. Isn't it wonderful? Some fabric. And then this is with on her balcony. Isn't that wonderful? Some lovely, lovely fabric. I'm going to be making something with this in the week. I shall probably make, be making some hearts. Some lovely hearts of love. <laughs> gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Thank you. I love it. I love it. So, lovely. Have we got some numbers in? And numbers for other people? And mm. Oh, yes. Of course. Carol, you do this sort of thing as well, don't you? Isn't that gorgeous? Beautifully done. And where the colours have blended into one another. Beautifully done. Oh, hi, Janet USA. So nice to see you. Come on in. Come on in. Oh, are you making ephemera today, um, Janet, dear? You make some wonderful things. And Lisa was showing some of the lovely paper that you'd, you'd made. Here comes Freddie. Don't unplug the camera, Freddie. Come round the other side so you can see everybody, darling. He wants to go under he, he wants to go under the table. He's sure that something's under there. Angie says one big hello to everybody. Oh well done, Candy. 
beautiful fabric made by Alicia. Isn't it? Oh, gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to leave that on the desk because we're going to be using that definitely. Um, right, let's get to random.org. <laughs> oh. oh, yes, it, that carol, your stitching. It's gorgeous. This is, that's pure stitching for your well-being, isn't it, Carol? Wonderful. Mm. I know that's pretty. <laughs> he just thought, are there any more snacks under the table? He feels sure that there's snacks under the table. Right, let's go to random.org. Random number. Let's, um, so slow, aren't I? Here we are. I should have Alexa, shouldn't I? <laughs> On the Sonos. Um, ran, random number gen, generator. Let's let's do that. <laughs> now between one and a hundred. Lovely. Done. And generator number. The number is eighty-eight. Who was closest or under eighty-eight? Isn't that wonderful? Isn't it? And it just my type, my emails are just tiny, but you'll have a little piece of me and a little piece of Alicia coming through the post. I'll pop some of my like little scrappy, scrappy washy <laughs> in as well. I know Candy, he's he is so sweet. Oh, oh, you've just got back. Um, chili. Oh, just missed a draw, but we'll do another one at the end of the stream. So don't worry, this one's just for now, and there'll be another um, one at the end of the stream. Good morning, Gerland. So nice to see you. Happy New Year to you, Gerland, dear. Hmm. Angie with 80. How wonderful. There you go. Angie, dear. There. I could just gonna look. I put Angie there. Angie eighty eight. These are my copious notes here, and we're keeping. I make notes as well. A Jean Jean Bainey came into chat la, last week and asked us to pray or think or meditate, whatever we do about her and her sister. Her sister's not very well, so we'll keep her and all the others that we've been. Thinking about Lisa and Brittany and Candice, ongoing health and Vanessa's hand. Don't let me forget anybody. Congratulations, Andy, uh, Angie. Mwah. <laughs> it's going to wing its way back to you now, across the ocean. I love that. So there we are. Let's play another prompt game. So I was sorting out, sorting out the props. Props, prompts. And let's see those ones. Yes. So we've got a, a whole, sorted them all out. And these ones are left here. And this pile are ones that we don't want to do again for a while, like avocado and handwriting, that, that pile there. So that gets put over here. And this is the pile. I've just changed them of new prompts. <laughs> so I've written 2022 and I've written new prompts. So I'm going to put these in. And we're going to give them a shuffle. But what I thought I would do, so we don't run to run out of time, I wondered just for a little minute if anybody has any prompts that they would like me to add. I'll write those down and make a card for those for next week. So if you have any thoughts, any prompts you would like me to add. I, of course, I've kept in scrape paint. 
for because that's a great one to have and also it's Kimberly's favourite and I, I try to keep everybody's favourites in as well for, for your daughter hold on I, I, hold on hold on a minute Cheryl Oh, she has the flu. Oh, that's not much fun. And she's a young mum as well. Oh, it wears you out. And you worry that she's not going to get the rest she needs. And you'd like to be near her and you're not. Oh, that's so hard. Yes, prayers and love. I always say I'm keeping people in my heart. Because I do. I do. People are... People, um, I'm, I only stream once a week, but seriously, catching up with you all in chat, thinking about you all, and yeah, oh, yeah, is she able to still be at home? She's at home, is she? Thank you, thanks Gail for saying that. Yeah, and candy. Everybody's, yeah, we, this is a lovely, let me just write that down on today. Yeah, Cheryl, let me just write that down. Lovely. Finger paint, finger paint. Thank you. I'll put that in. Renee, I always love it when Sylvia um, does a video and she says, my crafty friends or my lovely friends and she's got just such a gorgeous laugh and I love it I know she's going to do textures textures I'm going to um her Heather and Mrs Gigi did wonderful videos with copy paper and just delicious textures from Sylvia Kat's got her coffee oh add coffee yes add coffee Brilliant. Let's pop that in. I will add those. Wonderful. Ooh, sea creatures. We haven't had that one, have we? Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you, Suze. <laughs> Painty fingers are the best. I love it. And I love your voice and your laugh, Sylvia. Links will be below. <laughs> Just give me an hour or two to get these links done. Mm. Oh, Janet's freezing there where you are. You have about 10 minutes left before you go. God bless you. So nice to have you here, Angie. Mm. Add tea bag. Add a tea bag. Wonderful. Wonderful. If I've missed any of yours, it's not um, because... Add a bagel. Add a bagel. That's wonderful. That that's very fitting for me for my prompts, isn't it? Mm. Mm. Right. Let's pick some, shall we? Uh, so let's. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. One, two. Oh, Aunt Bex, just in time for the crazy prompts. You know we love them. I'm asking for other ideas as well. Someone's just said bagel. You'd love that one. <laughs> one, two, not looking. Three. Oh, do a do it with do the prompt, but do it with fabric. Right, okay, I'll do that next week. Do with fabric. Wow, other people can use other things and I can do mine with fabric. What a super idea. Do you want the challenge to do that today? One, two, three, four. I can't count in chat. Five. Turn the final item into homemade paper. Oh, wonderful. Homemade paper from, yeah, end result. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Wow, yes. Well, I might I might be trying to do something like that today, actually. Oh, Becky, children are up. 
Oh, the bus, they're at school. We have a public holiday today. I hope you and the children have a safe day. You'll catch the replay. Oh, take good care, Becky. I know you're a busy mum, aren't you? Yes. Take care, Becky, dear. Oh, the children are back at school. Gosh. There we are. The other thing, Kristen was saying she'd like to try making, doing stamping. The other thing I'm trying to do is make my own stencils. So I carved out this, but I, it, I didn't feel it was that brilliant. So I'm going to use that as my, because everything you need to practice. Mm. Your grandsons don't go back till Wednesday. I don't know when Matt goes back to school, probably Wednesday. Mm. And then we've got Becky W's gone, and then we've got lovely Be Aunt Becky with us. So we always have a Becky in the chat. That's lovely. <laughs> Take good care, Angie. So nice to see you. It's always lovely to see you. Catch you in other chats. I should be able to be more chatty now in chats. Take care. See you very soon. Mm. We're back to online school. Oh, no, I thought you meant we were pretending this was online school. Um, gosh. Okay. That's that's not much fun, is it? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Well, yes. That's the dreaded thing we're not talking about, isn't it? Yes. But, oh, I know. Let me just turn one of these lights off. Tell me when that's better. Is that better? Less shine or do we need it on? Um, I'm going to rely on you in chat to tell me whether that's better. There we are. Um, so we have the choice. Right. Cuckoo clocks there. You've had heavy winds. Oh, you're in South Carolina. Kimberly's in North Carolina. They've got all those winds as well. Yes. Goodness me. I'm very. Oh, Aunt Bex, I tell you who you need to get up with, but maybe in the Facebook chats later in the week. Mary Lou is doing a temperature blanket. You've been so inspiring, inspiring with that blanket. Mm. Gerland's saying hi to Freddie. There he is. He's turned the other way. <laughs> oh. oh, Mary Lou's off. Oh, off to have breakfast. Mm, take care. I'm so glad you could pop in. Mm. Thank you, Renee. And it gives a little cuckoo. <laughs> right. Oh. Blue and white is the first prompt. Blue and white. Mm. And if I didn't catch down some of your prompt ideas, Write them in again or message me. I don't want to ignore anybody. I'm going to scrape paint. I'm going to scrape white. So I probably am, Suze, going to make my one into paper. Mm. You're doing the blanket because of Aunt Bex. Aunt Bex has been not only an inspiration, but um, a font of knowledge when it comes to sewing. And that's thanks to her lovely grandma, isn't it? Mm. Well, Aunt Bex, no pressure. I did the prompts super. Um, if you go back to the, I'm going to dip it in gesso for the blue and the white there. Whatever blue you've got. Oh, lovely. Uh, if oh yes no on streamathon that's what I was thinking of I, I lost my train of thought on the streamathon that Kathy and Kathy Kathy Berg and Colleen and Eileen did a prompt game. Such fun, so enjoy joining in. I came here to sit down and tidy my desk and then instead found myself doing the prompt game. And rightly so. 
I said to Sam, oh, does anybody have the link to Cage Fishes Challenge? I heard people talking about that. Has anybody got the link? Thanks, Janice. Love making homemade paper from a project. Suze, thank you for that idea. I'm going to do that today. Love, Suze, can you tell me some of the projects you use your homemade paper for? Do you use it like painty paper or do you make it into ATCs or journal pages? And this is the journal I said that I wasn't going to scrape paint into. The cat's journal, and I find myself scraping paint into it. Well, there you go. Best laid plans, don't have any plans. I said to Sam, I would, when I came for New Year, I came down, as I do before I stream, to tidy, tidy the desk a bit so we don't get in too much of a muddle. And I said, I just, I just didn't feel like tidying it. I just wanted to join in the games. And I said to Sam, because it's a new year, you, you'd like to think you could be start afresh, be a, like a better version, maybe have a tidier desk. And I then came to the conclusion, this is just for me. I'm not, this is just for me. Other people will have different, different, it be different for everybody. I'm not just saying having a messy desk is the right thing for everybody, but I've got the feeling for me in 2022, not that you've ever thought I've been that organized, but just to go with the flow a bit more on, on my desk, because that is, how I create normally during the week. I'm just going to leave it how it is so I can just pick things up when I'm with, with all of you. <laughs> hmm. The playlist contains all the prompts as well as how to make a journal. Oh, that's fantastic. Thank you, Becky. That's Mary is just being so amazing. As we say, we always thank you to lovely Mary. We call her, her our community. Journal covers. You make them into journal covers. Great idea, Suze. Yes. This is a mixed media. Usually I do my things on rubbish, but I did treat myself to a mixed media pad at some stage. So, yes. Hmm. You like a tidy work area. On the other hand, can work in a two foot space as long as everything she wants is near. Or Patricia, on the other hand. Yeah, you, but yes. So I'm thinking, don't think I need to be like others that have got like a tidy desk or don't think that people want you to have that. I, I'm just going to just be ourselves and. That's great because for you, that works. Yeah, do what works for you. Let's do more of that in 2022. Do what works for us. Yes. I, I think that's the way to go, isn't it, Mariah? Let's, let's be kind to ourselves in 2023. Let's have another prompt. This one says, oh, this is interesting. First person, this is a new one that I put, 2022, the chat choose. So the first little one I get in here, pop it in, chat choose, and I shall write that down. Wonderful. The chat choose the next prompt. So I shall wait while you, while you come in. That's dry. That's the great thing about the scraping the acrylic paint, if you do it quite thin, squares. Thank you. Wonderful squares from Becky. Wonderful. How wonderful. What I'm going to do is, I did find my painting paper. I'm going to get my painting paper. You can get any, you can do squares in any way, print squares, whatever, whatever comes to your mind. 
printing. I'm going to cut some out because I'm making paper. This is going to make a lovely, maybe we're making backgrounds. Oh, Gail Anne. This is painty paper from Gail Anne. I'm going to make squares. Oh, how lovely. How lovely to have have you on this this maybe Gail Anne's just gone out to thank you great choice there and the funny thing is Aunt Bex I haven't got squares on any of those prompts I used to put numbers on but there's far too many now to put, put. If I missed anybody's, I can write them down. Did anybody else say anything when I missed it while I was bobbing down there for painty paper? How lovely. Squares. And I've got Gail, Gail Zan's name on that because I know what I'm like. Ooh, squares. Just rough squares there. Lovely. Ooh, this is going to make nice paper, isn't it? I'm going to put some going off here. You're, you're going to go and get your cuppa. Thank you. Maybe I didn't speak. Oh, choose. Chat, choose. Yes. Did I not speak properly, Cheryl, dear? <laughs> well, I hope this means that lovely Teresa is getting very spoilt today. She's not in chat. If you see her, Teresa, around in chat, wish her a very happy birthday. <laughs> yes, first one's blue and white. Now I'm just putting multicolours because this may become a masterboard. Or I might just chop it up and use it through the various colours. You can use punches, you can stencils. Mm, that's a great choice. Mm. Ooh, Gerland, you've got three inches of snow. Goodness me. Oh, Gerland, did you see I'm using your painty paper? Are you there? I'm missing the chat. Look, your lovely painty paper you sent me. Beautiful. That was on Delhi. Really grateful. Love having that. I'm going to use the bits there and then I can use them. Lovely. One more lot of painty paper. I don't want to. There you go. I'm going to break these up into squares and then put these on. Small squares. Lovely. Some of you might have like a square punch that you can use. Put the painty papers down here. There we are. They're rough squares. Hmm. Aunt Bex, I haven't. No. Not yet. But when I do, I will let you know. That post has been a little bit challenged, Aunt Bex, dear. Quite a lot of people in London are not feeling that well at the moment. Um, Sam's going back to working at home tomorrow which isn't nice for the youngsters is it really it's nice for them to get out and meet people because he works up in London that's lovely I'll let you know as soon as it does oh those are fabric scissors don't use them on the paper I'll just put that on there oh no that's my pen for my notes there we are so I've got some some blue and white and some squares and I already have like a little bit of background on there too and I'm making paper today making like a master board paper because that's what um Sue's ready to me to do Ooh. add person add a person mm. okay let's add a person I've got a wonderful magazine here. It's a Vogue. It's probably very, oh, 2016, but it doesn't change, does it? 
add a person. Did anybody see a wonderful oh, that background? Isn't that gorgeous? It's got purples in it. Gorgeous. Mm. Oh, it doesn't seem like winter for candy. We've been very mild candy here. It's going to get a little bit more. Add a person. Oh, wow. She's gorgeous. Oh, it's wonderful. Add a person. I can just flick through here. Oh, I love her because she's got pink hair. Wow. Oh, I love her. Absolutely love her. Look at her. Look at her with her hair looking like Lizzie and looking like a fairy. Looking like an elfin face there. She needs some wings. Wow. Oh, I love her. Let's just pop her down. Glue. That's the thing, isn't it? You forget, you can't find things. Was it when lovely Christina from Christina Shack says she needs to tidy the desk when she can't find scissors? And it's so true, so true. Restroom break, yes, yes, off you go, and we will see you in a minute. She is gorgeous, I think, I think. She needs some wings. Oh, how lovely. And a little, a little body. How lovely. Let's have orange wings and a blue body. I can always add some doodles to that body later. Ah, oh, that's it. Let's, let's make her a little dress. Oh, wonderful. I've got that painting paper there and that can go on envelopes. Oh, lovely. I just need to pop her this way, pop her that way, a little bit off centre. Oh, you, you were forecast snow yesterday. When I look here, I'm just reading the chat. Hmm. They did say it's going to get colder here, but um, probably not much snow here. When they say it's snowing in England, that's usually, there you go. Oh, isn't she gorgeous? She's going to have like a little dress and she needs some, she needs some wings. Scissors. Doesn't she? I folded the paper in half, you know, like to get it symmetrical. Does she need symmetrical wings? I don't know. Oh, they're not symmetrical because it was the top of the paper. So let's just go down like that. And then just freehand it there. Gorgeous wings. These will need some, just because they're lovely, painty paper. Let's put her wings on. Oh, She's gorgeous. Let's put her wings on a little bit like that. This was this prompt was add a person. I will pop the wings down later. She will need, there she is. Isn't she gorgeous? She'll need some little legs later, but um, I'll get, I'll, I'm going to doodle on her. So... Oh, interesting. The next prompt is layers. Layers. Ooh, layers. Mm. Right, I just saw something that I put in here. Beautiful flowers. No, I can save those for that. Let's just have a little rummage round on the desk. See what I can find. I'm going to layer up some things. 
and I'm going to put some things on her hair. Let's see what I've got on the desk. Because all the things I've got on the desk, the things that I love and have chosen to put on, I'm looking for flowers, really. So let's, I've got a mushroom. That would be nice to put in her hair. Pop her mushroom in her hair. There. And she needs a flower, really. Where can I find flowers? Oh, I know where I can find flowers. My sister in law always saves me the Q magazine. If you haven't seen Q, Q Gardens, I will leave a link below so you can have a little trip around virtually around Q Gardens used to go there all the time as a child and used to take the boys there. Wow. Oh, look at these pages. Absolutely gorgeous. She needs, that would be a lovely layer for her hair. So it's probably time. Oh, look, I'm just going to put this lovely pink flower in her hair. It's probably time for you to be popping numbers in and I will, then I can send you a a, another happy mail. It's a great way for me to be able to send happy mail to people. So, oh, your cherry tree is full of cardinals. Oh, how wonderful. Ooh, lovely. She's going to have a flower in her hair and mushrooms. Mushrooms in her hair. Quite otherworldly she's going to be. And I'm going to continue on with her while I listen to Rebecca, probably. Oh, well done. You're popping in numbers. And, oh, and numbers for people that aren't here or have been here. It's lovely, absolutely lovely. Oh, do you know, it goes too quickly. I know we probably need to get on with other things now, but oh, it's lovely just to be together. Right, let's put some things in her hair. I don't almost, it, it's changed from being, making paper sues to actually making a collage, which I don't usually do because I'm usually making a postcard. How lovely. You can see how she's coming on there. I've added, she's got wings. She'll have a doodle. And I will be adding, adding some more things. Have another prompt, shall we? Uh, we're going to the kitchen with Cheryl. We'll come with you, don't worry. We need another prompt. Have we not? I think I've one, two, three, four, five. That's number five. And I've got number six here. Twelve for Z. <laughs> Our Bex says, don't drop us. We've already been in Laura's pocket and we've probably been to the shower with Rebecca. Mm. Thanks, Sue. It's not like me to make a page, is it? Add paint this is a really painty one if you don't want to add more paint don't worry you don't have to add any paint i'm going to add some gold paint wonderful i'm going to put that on there so i don't get in a pickle if i put it buckle up and put your helmets on <laughs> says janet usa well done coming in with numbers i'm loving that well done. Right. Let's get a sponge. Janet, don't forget to wash that sponge. I am very naughty on washing these. I got some makeup for Christmas and I got the sponge and I thought, oh, lovely. I'll be using that. <laughs> we knew you. We knew where we were. We know you. <laughs> oh, lovely. I just, oh, I've got my fingers in the gold paint. Oh, lovely. That's just, mm. I'm going to use the coffee thing and I'm going to 
put some marks on her wings. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be playing with this. Mm. You're scraping gold as well for Mary. That's I left gold is one of the prompts. I left it in there for Mary. I really did. Mm, just just some lovely gold to add some texture. And you can just keep going with this. Oh, let's do the numbers. <laughs> I hope not, Barbara. <laughs> oh, do you know, Christian, you have to tidy your desk when you can't find your phone. When I first used to scream, I did that, didn't I, Gerland? And I was saying, oh, Gerland, help me. I've lost my phone and Beth was there. Mm. Oh, your doggy needed one. Oh, pop a number in. Pop a number in, Renee. I'll wait for you. And we'll do, you have an envelope chocked full of gold stuff for Mary going out today. Oh, lovely. You can make a gold page. Added gold to her. I can't wait to doodle on her. She look, it looks a bit oversized for the minute, but I will show you um, next week. Right, what I've done. Are you waiting? I'll give you the last prompt in a minute. Right, let's generate a number. We got one. Rene, good. Rene's there. Right, number 39. Who's got number 39? This is for our goodbye door prize, as our lovely Lizzie used to. Well, Rene's got number 32. Is anybody nearer, on or under 39? Let me know. It's, I'm not very good at looking at the chat. Numbers tend to get all muddled up for me. Suze. Aunt Bex has 35. How wonderful. This Aunt Bex, how wonderful. Wow, Mo, isn't that wonderful? Because we already have an envelope going out to Aunt Bex, so I'll just make the envelope bigger because we've, we're sending off the peacock feathers today and some, some of my washi tape. Wonderful, wonderful. Now, well done. I've written it down, Aunt Bex. So that will be going out on Thursday. Oh. I'll be going off to London to, to see my mum. So I will be out and about so I can get some stamps on Thursday. Oh, brilliant, brilliant. I think it was some cat fabric. <laughs> You'll be getting one. Of the, the happy mail that's going up is from Alicia and myself today. <laughs> now, the last one is add... The last prompt today, I engineered this one. I didn't pull it. It's what is your word? And I'm going to make this on one of my one of my journal pages just while I have you here. But please go if you need to. Uh, what is going is your word or phrase of the year? What is your word or phrase of the year? Actually, I think I better notes because my spelling is atrocious. Um, oh, Aunt Bex, yes, because the the cardinals need that. What is your? Have you got a word? Now, Mary said her word was triumphant. She said it's not only her word of the day or year it's the word of her life triumphant Teresa's word is empower I want to write your names down here you see Rebecca hasn't got a word of the day she's making coffee maybe your word of the day is coffee it's a great one Sue's is empower Strong words. You're going to be late. Rebecca's, we're not going straight off to Rebecca's. Um, Aunt Bex. These are amazing words. 
Aunt Bex is grateful. Thank you for sharing these words with me and with everybody. Cat's hat word is calm. Mm. So these are, I'm going to be writing these in my journal. It's, yeah, because I'm not a great journaler, but I do love words. You can have phrases, words, joy, joy. Don't let, that's Rene, joy. That was my word. It just came to me. It wasn't that I manufactured it. I kept just using that all the time last year. Candy, conquer, candy, conquer, conquer. And you will, candy. Mrs. Gigi, this word for the year, for the day, is relax, yes. And our lovely Barbara, peace, peace, yes. Teresa's is in power. Yours, I'm getting, is forgiveness. Uh, yeah, thank you. Teresa is in power. Yours is forgiveness. Forgiveness. Maybe the most important of all, because that's the one that eats us, isn't it? Yes, yes. If you're Vanessa, Vanessa is relaxed and positivity. Mm. Sue is procrastination. I love that. I love that. Let's spend time together this year procrastinating. That is fantastic. I love it. Mm. You and Janice can get behind. Cuckoo's saying, Jenna, it is so, but I do, I, yeah, exactly, Suze. Mm. You, you're wise, you're a wise, you're a wise woman. I'm not saying that any of these are going to be easy. And we will revisit these. If you're going to ask me what mine is, I think mine is still joy. But I might have written something else down. I will come back to you on that one. And on this note, oh, Cheryl, discovery. We're going to have a little break from those words. See, Roy, it's a cuckoo clock, not an explosive device. <laughs> it's a cuckoo clock. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Teresa. Happy birthday to you. Oh, it's lovely. Let's pop. I've got some cake here. I see cake for you. I think you could get your own slice, Teresa. That's it. I'm glad you came in. Everybody was poised. There we are. Blow out your candle, Teresa. Happy birthday, dear. Happy birthday. Hmm. Happy birthday, dear. <laughs> um, Janice, what's one of your words? Oh, joyous birthday. <laughs> What's one of your words? Oh, it's scrolled down. Hippos and birdies to you, Teresa, says Aunt Bex. Hippos is one of the prompts that might be picked. So get hippos ready for another day. <laughs> oh, happy birthday, Teresa, dear. If I have missed one of your words, did I miss one of your words, Jack? Happy birthday, dear friend. I do hope you're being spoiled. We rather thought you might be having breakfast in bed, Teresa, dear. <laughs> oh, so nice to see you. 
It was forget, Janet. You forget a lot. Your word, forget. Actually, these words are great, Janice. Forget. Do you know, yeah, in some ways that links with, it does it link with Sue's one. And I think forgiveness is something different, isn't it? Because you have to come through something to forgive. It's not forgiveness. It's not about forgetting, is it? No. Hmm. Janet is grateful. Gratitude. There and, yeah, and Janet, USA. Yes, yes. It, it, it's wonderful to focus on that. So that's it. Jilly needs more coffee. Oh, yes, I'm having my lovely Canadian tea from Katie. Cheers, Katie. Mm. Yes, I've got you two together to be grateful. It is a great exercise to think or write down. I'm, I've got, Sam bought me a Sudoku book. And even before I've done the Sudokus, it's upstairs and I'm writing notes in it. Mm. Well, I will be making a page with these amazing words that shared with me. But this is my lovely book from Christy. Isn't it gorgeous? When all the pages are done, I'll be using this cover again. It will always be my screen notebook. <laughs> forgive and forget. Yes, you have to forgive first and then forget. Yes, there is a saying. You're very right. Mm. <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous? It's a mandala. And I noticed, Becky, I haven't been much in Facebook or, or talking much, but I noticed that you'd started another mandala. You paint them beautifully and then you do the icing, you say. You come in and doodle. Mm. There's Journey, lovely Journey. Nice to see you. Oh, wishing, wishing, saying hello to all of us, all us friends. And let me come back here so you can see the boy. It's hard to see you, but he is there, snoring away. Hmm. I thought you said Journey Snowman, Barbara, but it, it wasn't. Hmm. Well, I've had a wonderful morning. You finished the doodles yet? Yeah yesterday and you wore a matted on black today beautiful you usually do them quite big don't you aunt that mm. janice i know the freddy fan club if i turn this light on can you see him better it's going a bit dark oh, what i did i need the lights on because i need to show you the cuckoo clock and in showing you the cuckoo clock I'm sharing the mess of the room. <laughs> oh, dear. But we're all friends here. We're all friends here. Does that show him up a bit more? It, it, it's, it saturates the desk, but it means you can see Freddie more, which is so important. This one is on an eight and a half inch square. So if you think of scrapbook paper is 12 inch. Oh, my Christmas cake tin is eight inch. So it's about that big. Yeah, mm, lovely. If you cannot change someone, just change yourself. That is what you're going to do. Yes. Kristen, so true. Not change someone. Change yourself. And we're not saying these things are easy. And that's sometimes that's not appropriate, but it, generally, yes, that's amazing, uh, but not easy, not easy. It's a journey. It's a journey. A lot of these are a journey, aren't they? And and a reminder of if, if you know I've written them down or you've written them down. Mm. We all, all have messes. <laughs> it's one of the things that unites us, Kat. I know. Oh, it's like Monica. Are you Katie Cat and I are friends? We might have at five o'clock today in the evening. 
Friends at Five and we watch, remember Mon Monica, she has the flat all neat, but she has that messy cupboard. <laughs> oh dear. You do, so, absolutely. Um, Aunt Bex, that's why I said sometimes that is not appropriate. We need to make personal boundaries for ourselves, yes, to protect ourselves. Absolutely, definitely. And yes, you're not alone, Aunt Bex, dear. Definitely, I get that. Mm. Pretty teacup, yes, that was from, it's Royal Horticultural Society. It's got vegetable paintings on it, paintings of vegetables, chard and sweet pea and peas. Or well, maybe those are the pea flowers. You can eat, they're edible, aren't they? Isn't that gorgeous? That was for my lovely neighbour next door. Mm. Right, let's get the camera. If you get dizzy, um, it's. I will say goodbye and I will move the camera. I'll show you the cuckoo clock. He's already cuckooed, hasn't he? Let's. A bit shaky. Shaky hands. So let's have a look. Where's the cuckoo clock? I can't see it. Oh, can you see it now? Look, let me steady my hand there. Isn't that wonderful? You can see the lights. You can maybe hear my tummy rumbling. Can you see where the little love, that was from Kimberly on the mantelpiece. And then over to young Freddie. Where is he? There he is, the most important person of the stream. Goodbye, everybody. Take care. Take care. See you soon. See you in chat. Buckle up, says Janet. We're going for a ride. Oh, Suze, goodbye. Take care, everybody. Bye, Kat and Barbara, Kimberly and Sue and Gail. Oh, blessings to you all. Blessings to you all. You love the cuckoo clock. Gorgeous, isn't it? Mm, we had that running over Christmas as well. Brings back lovely memories. <laughs> Have a wonderful day too, Janet. Bye, Jilly. Bye, Janice. Oh, hope you get some time to craft in between emails, Janice. Bye, Roy, dear. Take good care. Oh, look, Janice coming up with the prompts and Ruth there, quietly sewing in the background. And now I need to say goodbye to the replayers. Thank you for staying with us. That's lovely and joining us. And Brenda, goodbye. And Sylvia. Oh, yes, Kat says, stay safe, everyone. Bye, Andy. Oh, on journey. Blessings to you all. Oh. <laughs> um, Ruth is sewing the prompts. Oh, wow. Ruth today is sewing the prompts. That is amazing. I'm going to be doing that next week. Sewing the prompts. I love that idea. Glad I wrote it down because I'd already forgotten Ruth. Wonderful to write these things down, isn't it? Right, you take care and keep healing, Candy and Vanessa. Keep healing too. <laughs> Bye, everybody.